When changing the motor gearbox, it is best to have the room fully extended to the out position. The motor gearbox we are changing today is a top mount mounted above the slide out box. As you can see, it is now covered by the fascia boards. You're going to want to remove these fascia boards to gain total access to your cable chain adjustment brackets and the motor in the gearbox. Now that we have the room extended to the out position, before loosening up on the cables and chains, you want to be sure to support the room. I just want to put enough tension on the jack. I don't want to jack the room up. I just want it to, the room to stay stable as I'm loosening my cables up. Now that we have the fascia boards removed, the room supported, we want to disconnect the power to the motor. Next, before we loosen up on any of our cable chain adjustments, it's important to mark the chain, both chains, so when you put the chains back on, the room is tied together again. So the best way to do this is either a zip tie, a piece of wire, go through the open link of the next engagement on the sprocket, And then this way, I know that when I put my chains back on, they're going to be in the correct position. Okay. Now we want to loosen up on our cable and chains. We need to get enough slack in the cables and the chain to remove the chain from the sprocket. You're going to want to clamp onto the round shaft of the adjustment stud so it doesn't spin on you. I do this on both the top and the bottom cables. and I can also loosen up on my center chain nut. I'll now move down to my out bracket. I'm gonna repeat this process. And then I'm going to repeat this process on the opposite in and out adjustment brackets. Now that we have enough slack in our cables and chains, we can remove the chains from the sprocket. You can let the cables chain set right on top of the room. And we can remove the fasteners out of the motor bracket, gearbox bracket.
I'm going to install the replacement motor in the same holes as the original one. Be careful not to over, over torque your fasteners. Now I'm going to reinstall the chains. One important thing to remember is whatever side the barrel of the motor is facing, I want to put that chain on last. It'll go on the top sprocket. So I'm going to position these chains in the exact position as they were before I've taken them off. And now we can readjust the system. I want to start with my out brackets first because room's all the way in the out position. I'll use my center chain nut and I'll take out any excess slack as much as I can with that. Always remember when adjusting the cables to clamp them onto the smooth part of the threaded shaft. That way it will not spin on you as you're tightening. I'm going to tighten the out cables up good and tight because my room's all the way in the out position. And then remember to tighten up back up the jam nut on the center chain so that the bracket stays straight up and down. So again, I'm going to take out as much slack as I can with the center chain nut. to my cables. All I want to do at this point in time with the end cables, I just want to take out the excess slack and then just so they have a little bit of tension on them. I don't want them as tight as my out cables are. Make sure that my jam nut is tightened down and then I'm going to repeat this process on the opposite side. Now that we have our cable adjusted, we can now remove the zip ties that we use to mark the chain placement. Now we're ready to hook the power back up to the motor. Now that we have our cables adjusted and our power supply reconnected to the motor, the room's ready to be ran, but remember, remove the room support before trying to retract the room. Now that we moved the uh, room support, it is safe to run the room all the way in. As you can see by this slide's running, our in and out adjustment brackets, they are going to pass each other. That's why it's important to have the jam nuts tightened down so the bracket stays straight up and down to give clearance for pass. Now that we have the room in, we now want to extend it back to the out position and we'll do our final adjustments from there. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we ran the room to the out position, what you're going to want to check is the standoff brackets and make sure that the room's fully extended. So you want to make sure that these brackets are coming into contact with the aluminum mechanism onto the sidewall of the coach and which these are. If not, you can make any necessary adjustments from there. The last thing you're going to want to do before you button everything up is you want to make sure you put these anti-vibration blocks back on the coupler nut on the cables. What this does is traveling down the road, it will absorb the vibration so that the adjustment nut does not back off.